Welcome to Field of Fork and today I am so excited to have so many wonderful guests and my first guest is Gail Dara from Beachwood Inn. Welcome Gail. Thank you for having me. I really love what Rayburn County is doing and you've done so many wonderful things. One of the biggest things uh, just happened recently. What was that? Well, the state legislature uh, passed a resolution declaring Rabin County the farm-to-table capital of Georgia. Wow. And it was based on the fact that we have so many farmers and producers and farm-to-table restaurants, and we have more Best Chefs America than any other county in Georgia per capita. So we've got a real wow. active community that is food and farm oriented. So tell me and and you know my curiosity is up about this how did it really happen how did how did you get the group together and make this wonderful thing happen well the um i was chair of the tourism development authority and we know that food and farming and our farmers markets are a real draw for visitors from all over the state and the surrounding area so in working together the restaurants wanted to work with the farmers and that benefited the farmers because they didn't have to take their produce to Atlanta. Oh, wow. And it became such a force that we wanted to really recognize it and promote it. Well, so we, uh, my husband wrote uh, a resolution. The county commissioners passed it first. And then Stephen Allison, uh, a representative from Blairsville, took it to uh, the House of Representatives in 2015. Way to go, Rayburn County. I'm yes. so excited. And another big thing is the food bank. I mean, last year we had like three acres of sweet corn and instead of selling it to uh, Ingalls or other places, we decided to donate 600 pounds to the North Georgia Food Bank. And that's a new, uh, that's new as well as uh, you becoming farm to table capital, right? It is, and it kind of completes the circle from seed to feed, you know? Right, right. And they um, actually, the food bank of, the, of Northeast Georgia is based in Athens, but two years ago they bought a shopping center and put the mountain division there, and it is the first in the nation IQF facility. Wow, wow. And that means that not only does it help the farmer not leave anything in the field, but he has the ability to preserve it and, and sell during the off season. So there's a canning facility. So if I there will be. So is yes. that going to be open to the public? Or will will like if I have an excess of tomatoes, would I be able to go and can my tomatoes there? Well, that's it's in the future, and they want that ability to work with the community, and it just is all based on raising funds for it. Yeah, I know you share a real passion as well as I do with the farm to table movement. I mean, this is why Field of Fork uh, allows us to bring people you, like you to talk about your business. And one of the businesses that really you're really tied up with is your own business, which is Beachwood Inn. Tell us about what you do there. Well, it's a pretty busy place. <laughs> we are a hundred year old property and my husband and I have owned it for 17 years, and we've built this relationship with farmers to be able to use the fresh produce, the fresh honey, the, the products that are produced right. in the county. And every Saturday we do a farm to table wine dinner. Wow. And people come to experience what Raven County has to offer, offer and hopefully go to the farmer's markets and take some mm -hmm. of Raven home with them. Right, so how many people uh, can you uh, have at your place? Well, it's very small for dinner, uh, so we can serve a maximum of 20 people, but we also do private chef dinners in the wine cellar wow. from, by appointment, and we also teach cooking classes. Oh, wow. So our, our kitchen is pretty busy, just mm -hmm. like yours. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. What kind of cooking classes do you offer? Well, they're kind of customized, rather than just, you know, a theme every month. It depends on what people want to learn. Some people want to know how to stock their pantry because they're busy and they don't cook like they used to. Other people want to know how to make pasta, and it's fun for them. It's oh, like wow. playing with Play-Doh. They love it. So can you take six or eight people? Is that your maximum for our the cooking? Our maximum is eight, yeah. and our minimum is two. And, uh, and we also do some class some fun classes in the fall around the holiday time we do how to make a lot of dough 
Oh, wow. A lot of people yeah. are interested in mm -hmm. that. And we do different types of uh, cookie dough, tart dough, mm -hmm. pie dough. And a lot of people are scared to bake. Yes. So you make it easy. I'm sure you make it easy. <laughs> so uh, I might even have fun just coming up there because uh, – I, I enjoyed visiting you that day that I came by oh, yeah. and we talked about the Georgia Organics uh, Conference and I shared some of my uh, my resources of where I was getting my seeds and mm -hmm. uh, anyway one other uh, thing how many people can you lodge if we decided to come up and take a class and maybe spend the night well for the whole property we can lodge 26 people wow it's 20 so you have 26 rooms no no we have half that <laughs> 12 <laughs> 12 13, we have okay. 13 uh, uh, couples to right stay. okay so what else are you doing around your uh, facility well we're trying to plant gardens with native edible plants we do a spring and a fall wild foods dinner every oh, wow. year and uh, let people walk our property and we'd go to some other farms that we have permission for uh, to let them see things in the wild and and uh, we usually do the harvesting ourselves because we don't want to over harvest with a big group right so uh, that's very that's well attended every time that's nice uh, so if they were trying to find you where are you located we're located in the city of Clayton Georgia on Highway 76 East and um, we uh, love to have people come and even join us for just a glass of wine on the front porch. Are you open year round? Year round. Oh wow! So, and and do you do weddings? Is there? We do weddings there. We do uh, small retreats. We're a small property with vertical terrain. Yeah. What is so, your favorite thing about the inn, and uh, what do you enjoy the most? I enjoy seeing people really take a break. We just had a couple this weekend that have a bicycle business, and they're very busy in right. Tennessee. And they just needed a little time to regroup and enjoy the outdoors. They brought their bikes. Right. Um, I love to have people come that um, just need to relax and be pampered a little bit. And get bit. away. Yeah. Get away from the stress. Yeah. I mean, if you're downtown Atlanta, folks, she's got the perfect place <laughs> for you to kick back, relax, enjoy. And, and I just want to thank you so much for coming here today and, and sharing your passion with us. And it's so nice to hear you talk about the farm to table movement because that's, that's the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and people can come up Osage you have Osage that big huge farmers market and all the lake people they go to that market as well and we have various other small farmers markets the simply homegrown market is every Saturday morning Osage is seven days a week yeah okay all right well thank you so much and everybody if you really want the real farm to table you need to visit uh, Gail Dara and Dave at Beechwood Inn and we'll be right back. Now you can watch movies, sports, news, and more on all of your internet-ready devices. Windstream cable customers can view up to 50-plus channels on their laptops, smartphones, and tablets with Watch TV Everywhere. It's easy. And for Windstream cable customers, it's free. Visit WatchTVEverywhere.com to register. Then the programs you enjoy are just a click away on your favorite devices. Watch TV Everywhere, another way Windstream says thank you for being our customer. Welcome back to Field of Fork, and today I'm so excited to have Hugh Hardy Jr. from Carol Sausage. And I met Hugh at the Flavor of Georgia where we took the flavor of Georgia you took it on your uh, sausage right. and I won with my sweet fire field of fork pickles and it was so nice that whole event was really nice Hugh and oh, I had a ball everybody had a ball. loved your sausage and yeah. being that it's uh, the month for barbecue what better way to show everybody what you can do with this so right. what, what what are we doing today well, Abby, I've got, of course, like we talked about the sausages, mm -hmm. uh, and I brought the medium smoke, and that's what we won the uh, People's Choice Award with this year at the Flavor of Georgia. And it's, you know, we make all kind of different sausages at Carol's. I've got mild, medium, hot, fresh smoked, pan sausage, jalapeno and cheese, beef sausage, snake wow. sticks, just a wide variety snake of Snake sticks? Uh, snack sticks. I thought snack you said sticks, snake. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fully cooked little, it's almost like a, you can take it on a trail ride or if you're going fly fishing, right. you pack some in your bag. Oh, I might need to get some of those yeah, for these fly fishermen. So, uh, yeah, that'd be good. I need yeah. to do that. Send you some up. 
Yeah. But yeah, so we all we, we make over fifty something varieties of sausage. Carol Sausage has been in business since nineteen eighty eight. You got four locations, got four right? Four locations now. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It was a small uh, mom and pops operation when we uh, Thomas and Ann Carol run it with their with their, with their kids, and then they retired and sold the company, and then I bought it and now just taking it from there. And uh, well, you grew up on a farm, life. right? I did. I used yeah. to farm, pull weeds out of peanut fields, and. I threw several watermelons on the back of a pickup this truck. This is so, South Georgia, folks. Yeah, we used to chase. South Georgia all the yeah, way. Yeah, that's so, right. Uh, I, had to, I had to chase the cows down in the field to give them the shots and all this kind of stuff. Wow. Like whenever. So it was, it was wild. Well, I yeah. had five brothers myself, so it was not an easy time for me being um, growing up with that many brothers. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, what are we doing today? Okay, well, I've got, what I've got is, like I said, this is our medium smoked sausage, and you can do this with fresh or smoked, but the smoke cooks a little bit faster. It's a little easier to cook because it's already partially cooked, and basically you just want to, when you when you cook it, you want to heat it to 165 degrees mm. internal temp and it's ready to go. Beautiful. But I've got some peppers and onions right here just that I've chopped up kind of stir fry style, laid them on a, a flat platter. Vidalia uh, onions, I bet. onion yeah. in there. Oh, yeah, you got to do the Vidalia onion. And I'm just going to cut some sausage dogs up, just cut these links into uh, sausage dog links, which, you know, about six or seven inches. I'm going to kind of lay those right on top. Now, I've got also, also, and you said you like the uh, jalapeno and cheese. Oh, I like anything so spicy. So I brought, I brought you some jalapeno and cheese too, and we're gonna lay a few of these on here. Let's see. And here's this is the jalapeno and cheese smoked sausage. Oh, nice. And that's another variety. And it's got, it's been one of our biggest biggest sellers. Um, and um, I mean, if you like a little spicy, if you like it a little bit spicy, it is really really good. Now once wow. you get this, I'm gonna put this on the grill here in just a few minutes. Okay, well, we'll set just this like over that, here. And that's it. All right, for so that. what else are we going to do today? All right, one of our other signature items is our sausage stuffed bacon wrapped pork chops. This is an item that, I mean, let me move this thing over. Here we go. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to start out with a center cut trimmed boneless pork loin. We sell these at our store. We also have a full line butcher shop. I mean, we carry mm -hmm. fresh pork and beef steaks, wow. and cut steaks. Local, everything. right? Yep. Comes all, from all a local over. farm. That's right. Yep. Good. And here's. This is basically what I'm doing. I'm just going to butterfly these. You just want to, you don't want to cut all the way through. You just want to kind of cut down through the center like that. And we'll go ahead and lay two or three of these out here. Let's see here. All right. Now what I've got right here, this is our pan sausage. This is, um, we also, like I said, we do pan sausage. This is fresh. People make it, make patties out of it. It's really good if you mix it in uh, like recipes, if you're making a meatloaf or spaghetti, oh, chili, yeah. they, they, hamburgers. All the flavor out uh, of this into that, wow. I recommend on this, on our sausage, I recommend a third of a pound okay. per one pound of hamburger meat. Or a lot of people mix it in their deer meat or their right. ground elk. I Probably mean, gives it a lot of flavor and it moisture. Does, it does, it makes it, I mean, it's in the seasoning yeah. in, in our sausage, this recipe is over 100 years old. Wow. And people say our sausage tastes just like what grandpa used to make, and there's a reason for that because there's no wow, I can't additives in it. it. There's basically, uh, the only preservative in it is salt. Um, so, I'm gonna lay this. Now I've got some bacon, we also carry bacon, yeah. and this is, this is a fresh sliced slab bacon that we have at mm -hmm. the store. We carry the whole slab. We got the, we got pepper bacon. We carry buckboard bacon. Buckboard bacon's really good. That's something mm -hmm. that we actually make ourselves right there in in the store. So wow. new, new recipe that we come up with. This is our skinless smoked bacon, and this comes in a slab. We peel the skin off of it, slice it on the slicer any way you any thickness you want. Right. So, and we package it. You know, at the store we package it up for you just any way you if you want a pound in a pack or two pounds or. Whatever we do it just about anything. Oh, that's got to be delicious. Oh, look at oh. this. Mm. Yeah. Barbecue month. Now, basically, when you cook these, there are several different ways you can do the stuffed pork chops. You can put them on the grill. Uh, a lot of people take them and just wrap each one up individually, like you would a baked potato in aluminum foil. That's one way to do it. Right. And that works really good. Just wrap them up really good and tight, put them right on the grill, cook them for around an hour or so on 350. You want the internal temperature again to be 165 degrees. Right, you, you want get, them done. You, you want them done because you Make do, sure they're done. You're dealing with raw. You can always check That's to right. make Just sure. Just take a thermometer, stick it right in there, and make sure it's 165 degrees. You can also do these on a, uh, you can put them in a casserole dish. I put, a lot of times I'll take just a regular, like an eight by nine or. Right 
casserole dish, mm. put a little cooking spray in mm -hmm. it, put the stove chops right in there, and bake them for, I usually cook them for about 30 minutes on 325 or so in the oven, just to kind of brown that bacon. Okay. Then I'll come back with like some cream of mushroom soup or cream of chicken or something like that. Right. Pour it over the top of them, maybe throw some chopped nice. up peppers and onions and a little celery and some garlic. And uh, Well, I think everybody can enjoy this mm. dish. I mean, this, this is beautiful. And, and we'll be back shortly to show you what we have uh, coming off the grill. Now you can watch movies, sports, news, and more on all of your internet-ready devices. Windstream cable customers can view up to 50-plus channels on their laptops, smartphones, and tablets with Watch TV Everywhere. It's easy. And for Windstream cable customers, it's free. Visit WatchTVEverywhere.com to register. Then the programs you enjoy are just a click away on your favorite devices. Watch TV Everywhere, another way Windstream says thank you for being our customer. Welcome back to Field of Fork, and this month we're featuring barbecue. And today I'm going to be doing one of my favorite Springer Mountain chicken thighs. And chicken thighs are really, really good. They're probably one of the richest meat. Uh, I like to do these because a lot of folks, they don't have a grill. They don't like to barbecue outside. Maybe it's the heat, but you can still have your favorite barbecue dish and cook it in the oven. So let's get started. What I want to do first is just put some olive oil in my pan. Get it spread out evenly here. And the chicken thighs are really, these are really juicy. They come out really looking good. It's just like you got, you just took them off the grill. So what you want to do is take and put the skin side down like so. Springer Mountain has some of the best chicken. Um, and here, here again, you got to make sure that skin side is down. And you can actually do this with not only the thigh, but you could probably do it with the chicken breast. But like I said, they, they really turn out really wonderful. Um, we do a lot of barbecuing in the summertime. And, you know, even if it's raining outside, you can do this recipe. And after that, what you want to do is um, put them in the oven for about 25 minutes. And I'm going to put them in the oven right now. And... Time this for 25 minutes on 400, and we'll come right back in 25 minutes and put the barbecue sauce on. The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. back and I just took out the chicken thighs after 25 minutes in a 400 degree oven and what we want to do now is mix uh, the sauce and what I did was I got my favorite barbecue sauce and I prepare some um, peach jalapeno jelly every year uh, with Georgia fresh peaches and what you do is you mix this together and what you want to do is brush this on to each of the chicken thighs. They don't look that pretty right now, but they will after we uh, put them back in. You wanna brush, make sure you brush both sides. And these are gonna be really delicious uh, after they go back in and they start caramelizing. Um, I know my grandmother always loved chicken thighs and it was one of her favorite pieces of meat. So then you want to turn this over. And after we turn each one of these over, we'll put the barbecue sauce on the other side. This recipe is very easy and you know, people that 
really don't want us, like I said, to be outside uh, flaming over a hot grill or they just don't want to mess with the, the gas grill. You can always do this recipe inside. So after we put enough barbecue sauce on each one, make sure you get enough on each chicken thigh, you want to put this back in the oven. It will stay in the oven for seven minutes and you'll do this uh, again. And then you'll take it back out and you'll turn them back over and you'll uh, put them back in for seven minutes and then you will uh, take them back out, put salt, pepper, uh, the herbs on top and put it back in for at 425 for five minutes and we'll be right back. <laughs> Hey, Hard, what's this? That's my resignation letter. You're resigning? Why? Because you're constantly ignoring me. You're half as active as you used to be, and you eat stuff like this. You've been putting me under a lot of pressure lately. That's why I'm ready to quit. I, I forgot. I'll, I'll do better. Please, don't quit on me. Okay, but remember, it's not what you say. It's what you do. Listen to your heart. Don't let it quit on you. Let's go for a walk. Uncontrolled high blood pressure could lead to a stroke, heart attack, or death. Get yours to a healthy range before it's too late. We've got everything ready, uh, and we are ready to uh, plate this, Hugh. Look at all this wonderful food. If they could only smell what we're smelling right now. Oh, I know. And we're celebrating smell. Barbecue uh, Month at Field of Four, and why don't we plate it? Let's plate it, and um, good. Here, here's these uh, chicken thighs mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. some special barbecue sauce. My and, favorite. And your stuff. Sausage stuff, bacon wrap, pork chops. And over yeah. here we did a little sausage. It's a jalapeno sausage, which is your favorite, right? Oh, yeah. And this, oh, my goodness, and these deviled eggs with these field of fork pickles. Really awesome. And we'll have to take some of the Abby pickles. Abby J's pickles are available at Carol Sausage and Meats at my store. And, and all of this. All over. Uh, You're all over the place. Well, it's all of huge. this pork of beef, um, not pork or beef, but all of this pork uh, and chicken, uh, it can be found uh, at Carol's Sausage. And you're located where? Ashburn, Sylvester, Albany, and Thomaston, Georgia. Well, it's four been... Four locations. You know, wow. wow. Four locations where you can find all types of smoked sausage, uh, cheddar sausage, mild sausage, yep. jalapeno sausage. Over 50 varieties. 50 varieties. Can you believe that? And we um, we just really, really uh, appreciate you coming all the way from Ashburn I to do the show. I had a great time up here. It's beautiful, and I'm ready to get finished and we'll eat and, and go do some fly fishing this afternoon. So I'm wow, so you're going to you're gonna catch oh, a big yeah. fish. Well, you, we want to say that we are Georgia grown, proud to be Georgia grown. And uh, another one more thing, I want to let everybody know that our magazine, Southern Farming Garden, is now out the spring and summer edition and we're now in tractor supply books a million barnes and noble uh we are growing our distribution you know it, it is really growing great and again thank you hugh thank you for joining us we appreciate and it I and, have had a ball. and this is going to be great i can't wait to jump in here i need to check us out on facebook right you're on facebook on facebook just look up hugh hardy or carol sausage Okay. And then your Facebooks? Uh, mine's uh, Abby J's Gourmet. And if you'd like to come fly fishing, it's uh, blackhawkflyfishing.com. And you can find a lot of my, uh, all of my gourmet at Carol Sausage mm -hmm. and a lot of other retailers throughout the Southeast. Again, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>